life evolved on our planet about 4.1 billion years ago. At that time, there were no complex organisms, trees or any other life forms as we know them. Our blue planet was a gloomy and hot place, almost incapable of sustaining life. In order for the situation to change, it took the Earth going through the formation of continents, an atmosphere rich in oxygen and oceans to create favorable conditions for the evolution of multicellular life forms. But what if something similar happened elsewhere in the universe? There are 11 confirmed Earth-like exoplanets within 50 light years alone from the solar system and most of them remain to be discovered yet. What can these potentially habitable worlds look like? And how similar are they to our planet? Several centuries ago, it was quite unimaginable to admit of discovering exoplanets. However, everything changed. In 1992, as the Polish astronomer Alexander Wolszczyn was studying the pulsar PSR 1257-12, it was noticed that its pulsation period was irregular, which was accounted for by the influence of two planets with a mass four times that of our Earth. This hypothesis was later confirmed which led to the conclusion that the first planetary system beyond ours had been discovered. There are three objects in that system, two of which have a mass similar to that of the Earth and are comparatively close to their pulsar in the constellation Virgo, due to the fact that it is rather remote from us and the conditions for sustaining life are poor. The PSR 1257-12 system is of little interest to scientists although its discovery led us to believe that the search for Earth-like worlds may eventually be a success. Just three years later, the first exoplanet orbiting a Sun-like star was discovered 50 light-years away from the Earth and was dubbed 51 Pegasi b. Just several years later, the number of confirmed exoplanets counted dozens and today 4,173 exoplanets in 3,096 different planetary systems unknown to science. In addition, a great number of Earth-like objects is still awaiting the confirmation of their status, which is possible after a secondary registration with telescopes on Earth. The number of celestial objects of this kind in the entire Milky Way may well be over a hundred billion with about one-fifth of them bearing resemblance to our Earth. Interestingly, most of the discovered Earth-like exoplanets are located not very far from our system. Ross 128b This planet was discovered in 2017 by European scientists with the help of the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, or HARPS, at the observatory in Chile. The object is located in the single star system Ross 128, which is the 13th closest star to us. The object is a faint red dwarf with a mass of 0.15 that of the Sun. It was possible to discover this planet thanks to its gravity, which leads to minor variations of the stellar spectrum of its parent star. While observing these variations, Harps is able to spot planets around stars. In this particular case, it took the telescope approximately 10 years to collect sufficient data before discovering this planet. This effort paid off. Ross 128b became the second Earth-like exoplanet lying closest to us. It is located 11 light-years away from the Earth in the constellation Virgo. Apart from that, astronomers claim it to be the most moderate of all known exoplanets due to its mass, its temperature and its rather calm parent star. It takes this planet 10 days to orbit its star. It finds itself in the habitable zone, since the temperature of the photosphere and luminosity of Ross 128 are low. It is also classified as an Earth-like type of planet. And at the moment, 
Ross 128B is one of the most likely candidates to be a potentially habitable exoplanet. Besides, research done in 2018 confirmed that its climate is favorable enough to sustain life. Another exoplanet on the list of Earth-like objects located closest to us is Gliese 667cc. This celestial body is part of the triple star stellar system Gliese 667 in the constellation Scorpius. It consists of two orange dwarfs and one red dwarf. The first two components, A and B, lie 12.6 astronomical units from each other, with the third component orbiting them at a distance of 230 astronomical units. The Earth-like planet in this system was discovered on November 29, 2011 in the Geneva Observatory with the help of the Doppler method. The object is 22.7 light-years away from the Earth and is the second exoplanet orbiting its host star. The mass of Gliese 667cc is about 3.8 times that of the Earth, while its temperature range may be rather similar to the terrestrial one. Modeling at the Planetary Habitability Laboratory managed by University of Puerto Rico reveals that the average surface temperature of the atmosphere of Gliese 667cc must be approximately 27 degrees Celsius. The planet receives about 90% of energy compared to that received by the Earth from the Sun. Also, Gliese 667cc is almost certain to be locked in its orbit, that is, it faces its star with one and the same side. If the planet's orbit does not curve too little and if its mass is not too big, the greenhouse effect produced by the rather dense atmosphere must be quite sufficient to create favorable conditions for primitive life forms. The next deserving object in our list is HD 85512b, an exoplanet orbiting the orange dwarf HD 85512 in the constellation Vela. Its star is a single K-type main sequence star with the mass 0.69 that of our Sun. As for its age, it is more than 5.6 billion years old. The exoplanet discovered close to it is located 36 light years away from the Earth and its mass is 3.6 times that of our planet. At the same time, HD 85512b may be one of the smallest planets in the habitable zone. It was spotted in August 2011 with the Harps telescope. The supposed steady state temperature of its surface is something around 25 degrees Celsius. If the planet's atmosphere is identical to that of the Earth, its surface temperature should reach 78 degrees Celsius. It is also highly probable that there is liquid water on this celestial body, which is why for some time it was believed to become the most likely place where life would be discovered first. Apart from the objects mentioned, there is a number of other celestial bodies in space located quite close to us which also boast some unique features. Many of them may well contain various life forms and may be not quite as far from us as we would imagine. However, we should bear in mind that some half a century ago man did not possess a tenth of information known to us today. And in the future, the progress of our discoveries is going to escalate even more dramatically. For example, on December the 18th, 2019, the KOPS Space Telescope was successfully launched in orbit by the European Space Agency. It is specifically aimed at exploring exoplanets using the transit method. It may be this spacecraft is to contribute to the list of Earth-like exoplanets and it may become the telescope to first discover alien life forms in the universe. Science does not stand still, and every new day bears witness to the fact that mankind continues to actively stride forward. If this progress does not lose its momentum, sooner or later we are bound to find an answer to the eternal mind-perturbing question.
Are we alone in the universe? And I hope the answer we get will prove that life is not a mere accident, but a logical consequence of the evolution in our universe.